Hi, I'm Dr. Jocelyn Westein, orthopedic surgeon and sports medicine specialist. And today I wanted to answer some questions about jumping and bone density. First of all, people have a lot of questions about how much or how hard they have to jump to stimulate formation of new bone. And in general, there's a cutoff of an activity creating a ground reaction force that is three times your body weight to stimulate new bone formation. So what does it take to create a ground reaction force that's greater than three times your body weight? Ground reaction force created with walking is about one and a half times your body weight. The ground reaction force created with running is about two and a half times your body weight. And the ground reaction force created with jumping rope is 15% less than running, but 40% more than walking. So how about drop jumps or vertical jumps with a rebound? That is a great way to create force that is more than three times your body weight. A simple drop jump from a height of eight inches or about 20 centimeters creates a ground reaction force that is more than four times your body weight and the rebound jump that follows it is greater than five times your body weight. How many of those jumps do you have to do? If you do 30 of them three times per week over a six month period that has been shown to increase your hip bone marrow density by about 1%. And that is a study done on postmenopausal women, so it is never too late to start. I'm just gonna demonstrate for you what that drop jump of eight inches and in rebound looks like. Again, this is about eight inches. My step over here is about eight inches. So a drop jump is literally just a drop with a rebound. I would recommend three sets of 10, rest a minimum of 15 seconds between the three sets and repeat that three times a week and expect some improvement. Remember, every individual is different and you have to wait for as tolerated. If you have joint pains and aches that prevent you from doing something like that, uh, remember walking is better than not using your lower extremities. Remember, we don't wanna be astronauts and completely disuse our lower extremities because disuse leads to rapid loss of bone density rather than maintenance of bone density. I hope you find this helpful.